All right guys, well I'm back today with a project that I've been wanting to do for a while, as well as a video idea that I've had for a long time, and that is bulletproofing a backpack. Now this will also work for something like a purse or a diaper bag, depending on the size of the particular bag. And with the way things are going in the world today, especially after the recent church shooting, I feel like being prepared for all situations is key, especially at the price point that you can actually bulletproof a bag like this. So after searching online and communicating with Premier Body Armor, I found out they have some really quality stuff and they were actually local. So I took a trip out to their plant, saw what they were doing, and was very impressed. We also decided we were going to work together on a few videos and the first one is bulletproofing a backpack. So let's take a look at the plate that they sent over to the channel as well as some of the packs I'm going to use and the philosophy of use behind this whole project. So let's start off with that philosophy of use and I've already touched upon this about the nature of today's society and how you need to protect yourself. And one easy way is just bulletproofing a backpack. Now a lot of times It'll fit most any packs on the market. So you can actually go to Premier Body Armor's website and find three different size plates that are most commonly used. The 10 by 12, the 11 by 14, and I believe it's the 11 by 16, and you can find the exact dimensions on their website. I've selected the 11 by 14, which is the medium size plate. Now this retails for $150. Now if you use the coupon code 704, you'll get free shipping on all of this if you decide you like the plate at the end of this video. Now this 11 by 14 seems to fit in your standard size backpack very well and it slides into the main compartment. Now what this offers is level 3A protection which pretty much protects you against all handgun threats. And since most crimes are committed with handguns, I feel like this is absolutely adequate for stopping most of what's coming at you. Now this won't really protect you from rifles but again, most of your threats, carjackings, and close up personal shootings are done with handguns. Now Premier Body Armor uses the same armor that they do in this as they do in their bulletproof vests that a lot of law enforcement units actually use from Premier Body Armor. So you know you're getting quality materials that are really going to work. Now you can see how thin, now this is rigid, but it's flexible. So what this allows is for you to just drop it in your backpack, it will stay in place and it won't fold down or flop over, yet it's flexible enough to go with your back and into your pack. Like it's not gonna be so rigid that it's cumbersome. So I believe it's the perfect stability between flexibleness as well as rigidity to allow it to stand firm in your backpack. This weighs almost nothing. Like, about, I don't know, like the small notebook or something like this. So you're not gonna really notice this once you slide it in your pack. So very lightweight and very maneuverable to fit inside your pack. So this is a SOG Ninja Day Pack and this is becoming one of my favorite EDC packs, especially at the price point of under $25 on Amazon with free shipping. I'll add a link in the description below to this pack and I'll show you how it works with this. Now there are some bungee compartments in the back of this pack, but in reality, I'm just going to slide it in. Simple as that. You can now protect yourself from handgun threats. And man, this is just so simple to do to protect you and your family. So you can see that it just kind of fits in the place right here, either in the back or the front. And now it allows 3A protection for your backpack. Let's try a few other packs and see how it fits. The next backpack I want to try is just this little standard Under Armour pack that I've been using, I don't know, since college for like a gym bag. Now this is light and flimsy, but you can still armor it very easily. So let's get that panel slide it right in and you can see it just fits almost perfectly. So that 11 by 14, the medium size that you're gonna find on your website, seems to fit in most bags perfectly. And again, you can see that the plate is actually reasonably rigid, so it's not just gonna fall down and collapse. You can see that it actually supports itself even in a flimsy backpack like this. Now this pack is a sling bag by Fieldline Tactical with one sling and it seems rather narrow, but you can fit the 11 by 14 plate inside here and the 10 by 12 would maybe fit it a little bit better and it wouldn't bulge out the sides. But let's show you the philosophy of use of this bag. This is one of the bags that I actually used to carry my Microroni in. So you can actually have your weapon of choice inside your bag, which this is still considered a pistol, so your concealed weapons permit covers that. So this is for the offensive, and then you can have your Premier Body Armor plate inside the pack as a defensive. So a pretty cool combination and a slightly different philosophy of use for this pack. So in summary, something like this is a must have. I can't believe I haven't had a bulletproof plate specific for a backpack ever. 
I've always kind of adapted old pieces of Kevlar from vests and things like that in some of my backpacks, but they always never fit quite right. They have gaps or they kind of fold over. Something like this specifically set up for a backpack allows the rigidity that you need, but the form and flex that you need. It's also contoured for the bend on the top of the backpack. It provides level 3A protection to protect you from most handgun threats. And stay tuned in the future, the very short future, we're going to be shooting this plate with all different types of handgun rounds and we'll see how it holds up in real life. But I'm very confident in this. I saw a lot of plates that Premier Body Armor shot up themselves, but you know we're going to have to test it ourselves on the channel to prove out this technology. Now another cool thing about this, again, like I said, is, you know, it's, it's body armor. So it's a defensive tool that you can take with you wherever you go. It's actually TSA approved to fit on your carry-on. So if you're worried about flying or just traveling, something like this can go everywhere. Now it is up to the officer's discretion if for some reason they decide to take it away, but TSA does approve something like this. Courthouses, sporting events, concerts, wherever you go, something like this can fit in your backpack. And there are no laws that I'm aware of that restrict the carry of something like this. Now, again, it's probably better just to hide it and, and keep it concealed. And worst case scenario, I mean, it's body armor. It's not like you're trying to take a gun in. It's just a simple Kevlar plate to use to defend yourself. A lot of backpacks now actually offer specific pouches to slide body armor inside. Something like this will also make a great Christmas present with Christmas coming up. I mean, you can give this to a loved one who's in the firearms or that you just want to protect. Again, if you like this idea, use that coupon code 704 for free shipping. I'll add a link in the description below. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope this gives you a high value option to add to your EDC to really protect your life. A lot of times we train with our guns, we practice with our guns, we carry, we get holsters, and a lot of things that we could be doing, as simple as just adding a Kevlar plate inside your backpack, we neglect to do. And I am definitely guilty of this. So I am super glad I have this plate and I know I will be needing more for different types of packs and different types of scenarios. Something like this is also super easy to carry in your car. So again, I hope you like this video and stay tuned for when we shoot this thing. If you have liked this video, please check out my other ones and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.